So over the years, Sony and Zeiss have been producing some amazing lenses for their FE mount system. And today we've got one of our favorite ones, the 50mm Planner 1.4, and we're gonna take it out and show you what it's all about. Bokeh. Here come the Kaiwan comments because I keep saying bokeh. <laughs> Delicious. Nutritious. So upon holding the lens, the lens is very solid. It's made completely out of metal and it's constructed to be of a high grade Zeiss quality. In terms of the rings on it, the focus ring is nice and wide and it's well gripped as well, so it, it's very good for video if you want to use it for that. Um, one of the coolest features on the site, it's got a declicker, so if you're using it photography wise, you can turn on the clicking, so when you use the aperture dial on the lens, it clicks in certain elements, and when you're using uh, it for video, for example, you can declick it and it becomes nice and smooth so you can control your depth of field a lot easier. In terms of performance on the Sony 50mm Planner 1.4, compared to other 50mm 1.4s I've tested on the market, the autofocus on this is so much quicker. And combined with the electronic elements from Sony, such as the ones in the Sony a7R III, um, the facial detection features, the iris detection features, they all work perfect on the lens. For image stabilization, the lens doesn't have any, um, so you just gotta keep still. And lastly, with the weight of the lens, it weighs around 700 grams, so it's not the lightest lens, and it's quite front heavy, especially on such a light mirrorless body. So maybe pairing it up with a battery grip or something with weight can help you use it a lot easier. So with the photos on this lens, from what I can see at the back of the screen, they look fantastic. Like the bokeh is super smooth and the photo are really, really sharp. The only thing is when you're shooting at wide open, like from f2.8 and below, what I've noticed is there's a bit of vignetting in the corners, which can be easily corrected in post, but just something to keep in mind when using the lens. One thing I've noticed when shooting with the 50mm 1.4, it doesn't have a great minimum focus distance. You have to be about 45 centimeters away from your subject to get focus. So just to go over the features of the Sony 50mm 1.4 planner lens. Firstly, it's constructed based off the Zeiss planner construction design, which is 12 elements in nine groups to help control chromatic aberrations. Um, in terms of its aperture diaphragm, it's 11 rounded blades, so you get super creamy bokeh. In terms of elements wise, it's constructed with one advanced element, one aspherical element, and one extra low dispersion element to help control distortion, color fringing, and ghosting and flaring. It's got a Zeiss anti-reflective coating as well on top just to protect the lens. The lens is completely weather sealed with a full all metal construction and it's got really nice clicky switches on them. I dig that. As I mentioned earlier, the autofocus performance in the 50mm is amazing, and that's due to its supersonic hyper autofocus motor inbuilt, which is really quiet, fast, and quite accurate. Just some things I don't like about the lens, it is a Zeiss branded lens, so the price tag comes at a premium, which may unattract some. In terms of its weight, it is quite heavy, so I can't picture using this too long throughout the day. However, if you want that creamy bokeh, then this is definitely the best lens for that. To test out the lens, we shot these sample images on an A7R Mark III. The images are super sharp and they're quite punchy. They're really sharp in the center, however in the corners there is a bit of vignetting when you're shooting it out wide. The bokeh is delicious and super creamy and really, really look amazing. There isn't like an onion-like effect, but it is quite round and looks quite pleasing to the eye. 
So as a chromatic aberration performance, there is a lack of fringing in this lens and it looks quite clean. Overall, the lens is super impressive and definitely one of the best Sony Prime lenses out. So is this the best Sony 50mm lens? Compared to the 55mm 1.8 and the 50mm 1.8, I believe this is definitely my favourite 50mm from Sony. Firstly, the build quality is amazing. It feels great in your hands. Um, it really feels premium. The weather sealing is great. The aperture de-clicking is awesome as well. In terms of its actual image quality, the bokeh is fantastic from its 11 rounded aperture blade diaphragm. Um, there is a bit of vignetting, but that can be fixed in post-processing. In terms of its price, it does come at a premium, but for those who are looking for a high-end 50mm, this is definitely Sony's best one. Um, just really one other gripe from it is that there's no image stabilization, but to compensate for it, the image quality, the bokeh, everything else is absolutely fantastic. If you have any questions on the Sony 50mm 1.4 planner lens, please pop them in the comments below. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you want to keep up to date with our latest events and what's happening in store. And if you loved our video, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next update. Thanks. So you get creamy bokeh and great chromatic aberrations. You don't want great chromatic aberrations. <laughs>